Hey everybody, Josh here for another quick talk, raw, I want to talk to you, uh, <clears throat> real, I'm walking in the woods, I'm in Michigan right now, and I love to go for these walks in the woods, it's quiet, there's these trails, and it's beautiful out here, and you can really clear your head and get away from some of the noise, and I had a really good epiphany from a podcast I was listening to, because I consume <laughs> a lot of information, right, and uh, we need to make sure that we don't just become perpetual consumers of information, but that we execute on our ideas and that we take action. So um, perfect um, inaction can never beat imperfect uh, action, right? So just doing stuff creates a lot of momentum in your business. So I want to talk about marketing. And I heard a cool story from a friend of mine. He works for a like a lawn treatment, like a, a fertilization company here in Michigan company's huge. They do millions and millions. I don't know how much, but it sounds like probably over 5 million. And they cold call people in the winter, all winter long, and sell these fertilization plans to people over the phone, right? And when I talk to a lot of you guys doing coaching sessions with either boot campers or just whoever, when I'm just out and about in the world, the cleaning world, I feel like a lot of small businesses, especially little ones, they do what I'm calling uh, buffet style marketing. They do a little of this, they do a little of that, they try this, they try that, <clears throat> and they never go very deep on any one of those things. They don't, they don't focus on one specific tactic, and tactic is the key word for this short, quick talk raw, you know, because my goal with these little short nuggets is to get you some really cool information that could inspire you to do something in your business immediately after you listen to it. Uh, so here, here's the deal with a tactic. A tactic by definition, is a specific strategy to get you a specific end result, right? Um, also, in my private Facebook group, someone asked a question, hey, I'm thinking about hiring a sales guy. How do I pay him? And, you know, it's a good question. People have that question. And when you're small, your brain's always turning, saying, how do I grow? How do I, I, mean, I, need, I need a sales guy. I need to do some postcards. I need to do some flyers. Maybe I should join a B&I group. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. And so we get into this buffet-style method of growing our business. And the takeaway here with this fertilization company is, is really good because these guys have like three call centers with all these people pounding the phones, just crushing it, right? Booking all this business, and they literally cold call people. People, there's snow on the ground. They don't know this company, and they get a phone call, and they actually book work, and it's profitable, and it makes sense for their model somehow. And little businesses think, oh, that would never work for my business or whatever. Well, it's working for this guy's business, but the reason it's working is because he is being tactical and really measured and specific in that one area. So he, he's not trying to do 4,000 different marketing things, a little bit here and a little bit there. He's taken one thing that he's comfortable with, and he's went really deep on it. I heard it said recently, I've been repeating this a lot, that rather than being a mile wide and one inch deep, we need to be one inch wide and a mile deep. And I think that is very profound, and it needs to be true in our own businesses with the way that we market our business. So, for example, you want new customers. You want to scale. You want to grow, right? You want to build your business. So it's really much more important to go deep and be tactical and measured in one or two specific customer acquisition strategies than it is to just try a little bit of everything and be all over the place. And this is a big mistake that people fall into. Wouldn't it be better for your business if you really became a pro, an expert at one or two specific things that you really measured and kept track of and kept iterating on and kept you know, optimizing and, and improving in your systems and your strategies and the way that you do that one thing, because we never give our ourselves the chance to get really, really good at what we do, because we do it for a minute. And if we don't get an immediate reward, we move on to something else, and we just kind of keep doing that. And we bounce around all over the place, and we never get massive growth, and nothing really uh, measurable or steady or consistent is produced for us. So I want to encourage you to be tactical in whatever you do pick. Back to the sales guy question. Can you hire a sales guy? Yeah, sure. You can hire a sales guy. But here's the problem. Most people that 
have a small company and, and think they need to hire a sales guy, the reason that they want to hire the sales guy is because they think if they can find this superhero sales guy out there, that he will somehow magically save the day. That he will come in and he will be the answer to your problems. He will be the one to land all these big commercial accounts or to go get you five new residential customers a day and that somehow he, he will just figure it out. And if you can pay him the right commission plan, then you can just sit back and he will grow your business. But it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that at all. In fact, if you do hire a sales guy, the best way for that to work is to bring someone into an already working, measurable, tactical setup. You know, if you bring in a sales guy, it should be for one reason, to put him on point with certain daily activities and behaviors and methods that you already know work. And then you have him work it and you coach him and you keep him accountable and you measure it and you, 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 you high five him when he gets a win. But he's not going to come save your day unless you've already went really deep in one or two specific tactical methods. So if you want him to get you commercial work, you can't just say, hey, you know, go get us some commercial work. You know, here's the kind of jobs we want to get. Good luck. <laughs> right? right? That You're not going to get the results, right? But if you do bring in a sales guy and you say, we need commercial work, here's a list of 800 commercial accounts that I want you to work. Here's how you work it. Here's how often you call them. You call, you know, 75 people per day, five days a week. This is a script you say to them. This is how often you stop in and bring their, their uh, property manager bagels or donuts. This is what you say when you go do that. This is what you do on Tuesdays. This is how many phone calls you make on Thursdays. You need to have something that's specific and thoughtful uh, ahead of time for your sales guy, right? Because they're just going to flounder and wander around. And even if you get a guy who is talented, you're going to get about 20% of his production ability if you just leave him to his own devices. And this is true with phone stuff with flyers I mean you could build a 10 million dollar company just doing flyers if you wanted to you know it's labor intensive it's not super cost effective sometimes but if you really went deep on that if you made that your baby if you became the flyer hero master of America and became obsessed with that one thing you could grow a humongous company you do not need to have 10 different marketing things going um, to, to get deal flow and leads and to get new business. You don't. You just need to be very, very deep with a lot of action and momentum and effort on one or two things. That's it. It's really all that it takes. In fact, this lawn care company, they, uh, the fertilization company, built their business by being good at one methodology of customer acquisition. And I think that's really cool. It's really good stuff. The other thing that I'll leave you with before I let you go is you don't have to offer more services to be more profitable. Now you can, add-on services aren't bad, but just make sure you're not falling into the trap of thinking that I need more money, what should I do? Oh, I guess I should offer more stuff. Because again, you're going wide instead of deep. You could build a $10 million business doing just the services you're doing right now. You don't need more services to build a $10 million business. And so if you're falling into that trap, be careful. Because if you try to be all things to all people, you're going to not be very significant to anybody, really. So you could just do exterior window cleaning and build a $10 million business. That could happen, you know, if you wanted it to. It's really more about focus than about anything else. So I want to encourage you to be tactical and thoughtful and to go deep, not wide. That's my nugget for today in the Quick Talk Raw. Hey, I have a favor to ask you. If you are getting value out of this podcast, if this has helped you, no more freebies, no more eating dinner for free, right? I have a, a homework assignment for you. I need you to rate this show on iTunes for me, and I need you to share this on Facebook and social media with your friends, with people that can benefit for it. So, you know, that's kind of your, your pay to play. You know, I want to give you guys incredible, actionable content, and your way to high-five me back and say thanks, Josh, is to just give me a rating and do a quick share. I appreciate all of you, and until next time, have a great day. Hey, thanks for hanging out, friends. And from all of us here at the Quick Talk Podcast team, we hope you love today's show. We hope that you were inspired to become a doer and not just a listener. Apply what you've heard today in your own business and watch things change for the better. Lastly, remember that all the money in the world can't save your soul. Seek first the kingdom of God, my friends. We'll see you next time.
For more information about the Quick Talk Podcast or Joshua's other businesses, visit our website, quicktalkpodcast.com. Have a blessed day.